One, Ratan Tata was conferred with the Udyog Ratna Award by the Maharashtra government. Two, Spain won the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Spain became the first European team to win the Women's World Cup since 2007. Germany is the only other nation to have won both the men's and the women World Cups before Spain. 3. Rahul Dravid has become the brand ambassador for BPCL. He will endorse both the Pure for Sure initiative and MAC lubricants for BPCL. 4. Mohit Kuma achieved the historic feat of becoming the under-20 world champion in the men's 61 kilador freestyle category. Before Mohit's victory, Deepak Punya had clinched the title in 2019. 5. The Luna 25 mission was an ambitious undertaking by Russia, aimed at landing a spacecraft on the Moon's South Pole. The Luna 25 spacecraft veered out of control and crashed on the Moon's surface. 6. India's first 3D printed post office is located in Bengaluru, Karnataka. 7. The Reserve Bank of India has unveiled a groundbreaking solution for individuals seeking their unclaimed deposits. The portal is named UDGAM, Unclaimed Deposits, Gateway to Access Information, Portal. 8. Government has approved PME Bus Sewa for augmenting city bus operations. 10,000 e-buses will be deployed in 169 cities. 9. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is launching its first solar mission, Aditya L1, to study the sun. 10. According to the report on the Asian elephant population and demography in 2023, the state of Karnataka has the highest elephant population in India, with an estimated 6,395 elephants. 11. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is launching its first solar mission, Aditya L1, to study the sun. 12. IRS officer Sanjay Kumar Agarwal has taken charge as the chairman of the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, CBIC. 13. Veteran journalist Nirja Chowdhury's book, How Prime Ministers Decide, sheds light on how key political decisions taken during the tenure of six prime ministers affected the course of India's political history. 14. The GST Council has decided to impose a 28% tax on online gaming and will be implemented from 1st October. 15. National Sports Day is celebrated on 29th August 2023. 16. International Youth Day is commemorated every year on 12th August. 17. National Handloom Day is commemorated every year on 7th August. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.